Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary first molar. So, this is the mesodistal outline of the permanent maxillary first molar. So, in the permanent maxillary first molar, the bow points, they are quite prominent. So this is the mesiobuccal pulp point and this is the distobuccal pulp point. So the mesiobuccal pulp point, it is more prominent as compared to the distobuccal pulp point. This is the mesial root and the mesial canal. This is the distal root and the distal canal. The floor of the pulp chamber, it is slightly below the cervical line. The mesial canal, this is the mesial canal, it is, it has a slight curvature. The shape of the pulp chamber, it is a bit square. The distal canal, it has very little curvature, it is nearly straight. So in the background, this is the palatal root and the palatal root and this is the palatal root canal. So this is the buccolingual section of the permanent maxillary first molar. This is the mesial root, which is quite broad buccolingually, it's mesial pulp horn, mesiobuccal pulp horn, and if this is the mesiopalatal pulp horn. This is the palatal root canal. Usually, the apical foramen it opens at the apex. The root canal it gradually tapers to the apical foramen. In about 60% of the permanent maxillary molar, a second canal it is present, which is smaller, which is the smallest of all. And this canal is known as the mesiobuccal 2 or the MB2 canal. This is the midroot section. And this is the distal root, which is the smallest among all the root, and it is oval to rounded in shape. This is the palatal root, which is oval in shape. And this root, it is the mesial root, which is very broad, buccolingually. And it has a kidney shape appearance. And there's a slight indentation towards the furcation area over here. So, um, this is the mesial root and this is the mesiobuccal canal. And, and if there's another canal, it is present over here and it is known as the MB2 canal. In the distal root canal, it is usually rounded. And this is the palatal canal, which is the largest one. And it is also oval to rounded in shape. So in summary, the maxillary permanent first molar, it has uh, four pulp points that correspond to the number of the cusps. The tooth, it has four canals, two in the mesiobuccal root, uh, and one in the distal root and one in the palatal root. While uh, it is not uncommon, sometime in the mesial root, the second canal, it is entirely MB2 is missing as well. So in that case, the permanent maxillary first molar has three canals. So thank you very much for watching this lecture. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this lecture. Stay blessed.